Welcome back. So on my assembly video of the lathe, I mentioned that I'm going to make a screw chuck, and uh, many of you were quite interesting in that idea. A uh, screw chuck from a faceplate, which came with um, with the lathe. Now I don't have a use much uh, for a faceplate. Um, if maybe I have a few of them, then I might uh, use them on occasion. Uh, but pretty much everything that I do uh, can be done uh, with the screw chuck and at least for me it's much more convenient and faster method. Um, so all you need is a faceplate. This is 95mm, a little bit uh, bigger than usual that comes with the lathe. Usually it comes like with 75mm or something like that. Uh, you need some sort of a bolt. Uh, this is lag bolt. Um, the deeper the thread, the better grip you'll have, especially on a little bit softer uh, wood. Uh, and a few screws, and uh, this is a, a piece of beech. Now I flattened a bit uh, this part here. Uh, you can see a little bit more is due, but that would be quite quite alright. So the, the faceplate won't wobble too much. Uh, that uh, That is just to reduce uh, any vibration unnecessary vibration so what I'll do is center it by eye doesn't have to be perfect so something like like so and I'll pre-drill a couple of holes And put the screws. These are uh, 30 mil long screws. So you can feel the and the sound how much it bites. Okay, and now just put on the rest. And for the rest of the screws, I won't. Uh, pre-drill pre all that deep, so just a little bit, just to prevent the the wood to uh, from splitting. So I'm planning on uh, buying uh, maybe a couple of more uh, face plates to make a smaller screw chuck and uh, maybe a bit bigger. So. And uh, I actually prefer the wood on wood contact rather than metal on wood. Okay, so now we have this part done, and this now goes on the lathe. I'll just uh, switch the camera around. Okay, so that now the face plate goes on. And you tighten it up, just have to remove the tailstock for a little bit. I'll just uh, flatten this surface here. Uh, flatten or just slightly uh, concave. That's a bit too much. can see where it rubs
and I want to throw up the diameter. Okay, so that's all uh, uh, nice. Uh, you don't have to sand this surface. The if, if it's a little bit rougher, it's better that way. Uh, now only uh, I could just touch up at this corner. Now we just drill it through. And now while I'm here, I'll just countersink this this hole. If it gets a little bit fuzzy, I can. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the flat surface here. Okay, so that's this part done, so I just put a little bit chamfer here, you don't have to do that, it's just more comfortable, and uh, now just tighten the, the bolt here. So I have this socket adapter and just nice and slowly drive it in. Now we can use a drill if you want, but um, by hand I have more feel if maybe the hole is too tight. So this way I have just a little bit more feel for it. So I'm just starting to poke through. Okay, so now we see how this looks. Uh, now this is 20 mil long, and in most uh, cases I don't need uh, this kind of big screw. So what I can do is put on a spacer. This is maybe a bit too big, but I have others like this, so we can. Put those on to reduce the the length. I put it like so on the on the edge, so it drips in, and now I can tighten the the screw all the way okay so I have a piece of wood here the screw is maybe just a smidge out of uh, balance uh, but it doesn't matter so that goes on and Once you threw this up, and 
and that's it. Nice quick way and uh, quite secure way of holding the ball blanks and uh, other blanks that can fit on this, let's say, size. Or um, if you make a smaller one, then uh, like for instance, like for instance, uh, you can make smaller ones as well. This will fit in a chuck, and uh, you can grip smaller stuff. This is also made specific for one job. Uh, also in a chuck, uh, this is perfect circle for a chuck, so um, the chuck doesn't damage the, the tenon and it's always pretty much the same. And uh, this is just tiny screw, only goes in like 2-3 uh, mil for that specific job. Yeah, I hope you'll give this a try and uh, there are commercial versions that you can buy and they are excellent. Uh, but if you're on a budget and uh, have spare uh, faceplates, just make one for yourself. It's quick and easy.